Hello and welcome to another episode of Maths with Mrs. Banks, where we make maths fun and easy to learn. And in this video, I'm going to take you through the basics on how to solve equations. A complicated procedure in some cases, but I'm going to give you the simplest methods on how to go about that. This video is made for grade 7 to 9, but grade 10 to 12 can also use it as a refresher. Now, without wasting time, let's go straight to the topic. The first type of equation you will see or find is when you've got your variable x in this case and added to a constant, which is 3 in this case, and equated to another constant, which is 5 in this case. What you do is you simply go, therefore, remember mathematics is a language, so keep the language simple and understandable. It connects the sentences together. So you go x. Therefore, x equals to, you take everything that does not have x to the right-hand side. So that is equals to 5. But remember that whenever you take anything from one side to the other side, it must change a sign. So your plus 3 becomes negative 3 or minus 3. And you go, therefore, x equals to, now you've got x on the left-hand side on its own, which is the goal when solving for x. That is equals to, all right, 5 minus 3, that gives you 2. And that is how you solve that equation there. To check in your mind, if you have to, you go, what is the number that when added to 3 gives us 5? And that number is 2. So it checks out. Second type of equation is very similar to the first one. You have your variable and you've got a number subtracted from that equal to, to another number so you go therefore you solve it exactly the way you solve the other one you just go therefore x equals to you take everything else that is not x to the right hand side that is equals to five but remember when you take anything from the left hand side to the right hand side it must change a sign so because it was negative the sign it becomes positive so we go plus 3 instead of just minus 3 because it was minus on the left hand side and you go therefore x equals now we've got x on its own on the left hand side which was the goal from the beginning now we add what's on the right hand side 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 and that is your answer there to check let's do a mental check what is the number when we subtract 3 from gives us 5 that number is 8, so it checks out. Third type of equation is when you've got your x multiplied by another number. In other words, a coefficient of x that is not 1, equated to 1 and a number. With this one, it's simple. You go, therefore, don't forget your therefores. Whenever you connect two sentences while solving an equation, therefore is very important. Now you go, you write the equation exactly the way it was and then you now divide both sides of the equation by the number that your x is multiplied by if your x was multiplied by 3 you will divide both sides by 3 why the reason is to make sure that at the end of the day that whatever number you multiplied x by cancels out and you're left with x on the left hand side so you go therefore x equals 2 on the right hand side you can just go 10 divided by 2 in this case or you can simplify 2 goes into 2 ones and into 10 5 times so you are left with 5 over 1 which is exactly 5 and that is your answer to check you go what is the number that when multiplied by 2 gives you 10? And that number is 5. So it checks out. Next type of example is when you've got a number dividing your x. In other words, your x or whatever variable divided by a number, in this case 2, equals to another number. So you go, therefore, you write it exactly the way it is on both sides and then you go you multiply both sides by the number that it was divided by remember when your x is multiplied by a number to find x on its own you divide by the same number 
Now, when you x is divided by a number, to get x on its own, you multiply by that number. These are what we call multiplicative inverses. They make each other one when you multiply them together. So they cancel out. Now, notice how your 2 here cancels out with the 2. So this 2 cancels out with that 2, and you're left with 1x or just x. Same thing. Now, on the right-hand side, this 2 multiply out. 5 times 2 is equals to 10. And that is your answer here. To check your goal, what is the number that when divided by 2 gives you 5? That number is 10. So it checks out. Now, the fifth type of equation you will get is when you have a mixture of any of the ones that you've looked at so far. In this case, you've got a multiplied x by another number and then added to another number. You go take everything that is not x to the right hand side. So you leave everything that is with x to the left hand side on the left hand side. Then you take everything that is not x or with x to the right hand side. Now, to take 4 to the right hand side, 4 was plus 4, it becomes minus 4 on the right hand side. Therefore, 3x is equal to 10 minus 4 is equal to 6. Now you go, you've got the scenario where now we've got you our x multiplied by another number. We do exactly what we did in that scenario before. We divide both sides by the number that x is multiplied by. In this case, 3. So we divide both sides by 3. And we're left with, therefore, these two cancel out. The 3s cancel out. Now, 3 goes into 3 once here and into 6 twice. So therefore, x is equals to 2. And that's your answer on the right hand side. Do a mental check. You go. If you substitute your 2 back and you go 3 times 2, that is 6, plus 4, it will give you the right hand side. So it checks out. Now the last type of question is where you have a rational number like this, 3 over 2, for example, multiplied by x. And then you've got either a number added or subtracted to the whole expression equated to another number like this. So you go, you write your expression exactly the way it is on both sides. Okay. You take everything else that is not x to the right hand side. So that goes 1 plus 2 because it was minus 2 on the left hand side. Now therefore, 3 over 2 x is equal to 1 plus 2 on the right hand side is equal to 3. Now what you do on the left hand side is you now multiply by what we call the reciprocal. The reciprocal of 3 over 2 is simply equals to 2 over 3. Now notice when you multiply this together, the 3 cancels with the 3 and the 2 cancels with the 3. So it ends up giving you 1. That's why you do that. So you multiply the left hand side by the reciprocal of 3 over 2. That is 2 over 3. Multiplied by. On the right hand side you do the same thing. Remember what you do to the left hand side you must also do to the right hand side. Notice that the reciprocal is always that if you had for example a that means that is a over one so the reciprocal of a over one is simply equals to one over a the reciprocal is just flipping your number upside down so now this two cancel out the three cancels with three and the two cancels with two and on the right hand side it just happens so that you've got a three and a three that can cancel out it's not always the case, so you won't always be able to do this. But whatever you have there, just multiply it accordingly or divide it accordingly. On the left-hand side, now we've got x on its own equals 2. And we're left with 2.
on the right hand side. Notice that you could have also solved this one as three times two first, which is six, and then over three. It will still give you the same answer. Six divided by three is equal to two. So it gives you exactly the same answer. And that is how you solve equations, the basics of solving equations. We've come to the end of this video. Now, if you like this video, please like it, share it, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more of these types of videos. And thank you for your time. Bye.